I'm Sidney Sarban from the CF-34 Fleet Support Team. Today I'm here at SeaTech and we'll be going over some of the CF-34-8 fan maintenance procedures. Welcome to the GE CF-34-8 fan maintenance video. In this video we will cover the following topics. Troubleshooting type pins, removal of the fan blade and pins, inspection of the pin coating condition, inspection of the blade condition, fan blade buffing procedure, fan blade shim check, and bumper replacement and blade reinstallation. As part of diagnosing fan vibrations, review the movement of the fan blades during rotation. After removing the spinner, but before inspecting any of the hardware, lightly spin the fan rotor in the counterclockwise direction, watching the fan blades as they move from the 11 o'clock position to the 1 o'clock position. Note any fan blades that do not rock as the blades move from the 11 to 1 o'clock position. For this fan, Note that blade number 6 does not move as it passes from the 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock position. When installing fan blades and pins, it is critical that the pins rotate freely in the joint. Pins that are too tight indicate a joint that will not allow free motion of the fan blades to a neutral position during operation. High N1 vibrations can occur due to the resulting out of balance. This video shows you how to check the pins for proper fit and how to troubleshoot pins that are too stiff. A torque check is the recommended method to verify the pin joint is loose enough to facilitate low vibration operation. Thread a bolt into the pin hole until it bottoms out. Using a torque wrench, run the pin 360 degrees. If the torque value exceeds the value in the engine manual, the pin is too tight and corrective action should be taken. If a torque wrench is not available, the bolts may be turned with two fingertips without moving your wrist. If the pin turns easily without straining or significant effort, the pins are sufficiently loose. If you have to use your wrist, move your arm, or use the sides of your fingers to get the pin to turn, the pin is too tight. There are two leading causes of tight pins, excessive lubrication and bumpers that are too large. The first step is to identify if excessive lubrication is the cause. On a workbench, perform a torque check with the fan pin inserted only into the fan blade. If the torque check is below the value stated in Special Procedure 96, the pin lubrication is not the cause of the stiff pin and the operator should proceed to the bumper investigation section of the manual and video. Note that the torque value limit may be lower than the value when the blade is installed. Refer to the engine manual for guidance. By reviewing the condition of the pins, you can confirm if the pin coating is worn out and may be contributing to excessive vibes. In the following photos, note the bronze color of the pin which indicates bare metal without coating. The coating on these pins is considered non-serviceable and should be replaced. Note in this photo the silver areas which show coating spalling and chipping which indicates a review of the pin coating procedure is recommended. This last pin shows normal wear at the maintenance interval. Do an inspection of the fan blade area under the platform and between the blade tangs, noting dirt and lubricant that may have accumulated during operation. It is important to remove contaminants without damaging the lubricant coated areas of the fan blade. These areas include the pinholes, the sides of the platform, and the external areas of the blade tangs. The use of solvents while cleaning the coated areas of the fan blade is not recommended as you may damage or remove the coating. These areas should only be cleaned with a dry, non-metallic brush or lint-free cloth. Perform a visual inspection of the fan blade pinholes for coating condition. If the pinholes are bare and without base coating, the blade should be sent for repair to replace the pinhole lubricant coating. Perform a visual inspection of the platform sides of the blades for fretting and high metal. Note the areas with high metal may be sharp. These areas can be locally blended to remove high metal. In this video, we show one method of buffing the fan blade pins using a shop lathe. Note the color change on the buffing towel which shows the top coat being buffed into the base coat. This method typically performed in a back shop after the fan blade pins have been recoated. 
An alternative method for buffing the fan blade pins is also available in the manual using a drill and shop towel or cloth. When performing the shim check during the bumper sizing procedure, it is important to check both sides of the fan blade for proper shim clearance. Make sure to push the fan blade to the left and to the right to verify you have proper shim clearance. Note this fan blade fails the shim check for both sides. Fan blade bumpers reduce fan blade rock angle and improve N1 vibration. Bumper size is critical. If a bumper is too large, the joint will be too stiff. If it is too small, the blade rock angle will be excessive. We know from previous troubleshooting that lubrication is not the cause of the stiff joint. Therefore, a bumper that is too large is the likely cause. A smaller bumper should be installed. First, remove the pin, fan blade, and bumper. There are three bumper sizes of increasing thickness, PO1, PO2, and PO3. PO3 is the largest bumper, PO1 is the smallest bumper. These values are indicated on the part mark and by the number of dots on the side of the bumper. For example, if a bumper has two dots, it is a PO2, or medium sized bumper. Reinstall the fan blade and pin using the next smaller bumper. For example, if a PO2 bumper is installed, replace it with a PO1 and reinstall the fan blade. During the bumper selection process, a variation in size should be expected using mostly PO1 and PO2 bumpers. If more than two or three PO3 bumpers are being used in the fan, or bumpers of all one size are being installed, make sure the shim and torque check procedures are being done properly. Complete a torque check on the pin. If it passes, the smaller bumper fixed the issue and the pin joint is now serviceable. If the torque check fails, install the next smaller bumper and repeat the torque check. You must have a bumper installed. If the torque check does not pass with the PO1 bumper installed, contact GE Aviation for support. So that concludes the video for the CF34-8 fan maintenance. We appreciate everything that you do to maintain our fleet, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.